Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about how to integrate secure CRT into GNS3. When you use GNS3 for the first time, uh, the default terminal application or terminal, the default terminal is PuTTY. And this, that is what I have here. It's PuTTY. So, if you want to use uh, secure CRT, you go to Edit, Preferences, Console Applications. You can, you can say Console Applications instead of Terminal. And then this is the Console Application that is being used uh, now, which is PuTTY. So you have to... I mean, we're going to change it uh, to uh, secure CRT. So you click Edit, and then choose a pre predefined command. So secure CRT. So this here, this is this path here is something that you need to verify. So basically, this is where uh, <clears throat> secure CRT is installed on your computer. So in my case. For me to verify this, I need to I need to go to uh, secure CRT icon, which is uh, I see on my desktop and <clears throat> properties, and this is the path where secure CRT is installed on my laptop. So th this has to match with what you have here. Oops. So in my case, it's already matched. But if if they don't match, you need to uh, copy this, <clears throat> and then this is what you should. Let me see if yeah they match. This is what you should put here uh, um, inside uh, uh, these parentheses. Yeah. So I don't have to do that anymore. So I can just, or for the sake of just demonstrating it, let me do that and click OK. And then apply OK. Now, if you console to into the devices, uh, secure, part, secure party should work which is what I have here. Let me close that because that's for no need, basically. So let me also open switch one. Yeah. Looks like. Yeah, so that's how you can integrate uh, secure party into GNS3. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.